All right, you guys. Um, everybody, good morning. I'm going to uh, show you again how to make a little gear right here. Okay. So I'm going to open a new document right here. I'm going to call it gear demo. And let's make it video like this. All right, so I'm going to uh, sketch on the top plane. So I'm going to hide right here, hide right here. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to have my workspace unit be in inches, uh, in millimeters. Sorry, I don't want inches, I want millimeters. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to sketch on my top plane. Okay, so I'm going to click on top right here. That way I'm ready for my sketch. I'm going to do to draw two circles, okay, both centered right here at the origin, okay. The first circle, I'm going to make it 42 uh, millimeters, and the next one, I'm going to make it 38 millimeters, okay. The 42 millimeters comes from the... Um, Sorry, the 42 millimeters comes from me having the little gear in front of me and measuring the outside diameter, so right here, okay? And the 38 is essentially at the bottom of the teeth, uh, it's 38 millimeters, so I measure that, and I'm going to make a gear that has 60 teeth, okay? So I'm going to click on the circle and click on the construction lines to make that a construction line. I'm going to repeat the process right here, okay? And then... I'm going to just put the dimensions. So this one, again, we said was 42. Okay, so press enter. And this one was 38. Press enter. Okay. So I have those two circles. Again, the outside circle will be for the uh, tip of my tooth. And the bottom will be for the root of my tooth. Okay, and I'm going again to do 60 teeth on that gear. So now from the center, I'm going to draw a vertical line. So I sketch a vertical line. It's going to be a construction line. Okay, so I'm going to click on this and click on construction. It becomes a construction line. And I'm going to draw another three lines that form an angle with that. So the first line will be like this. It will form an angle. Okay. Then I'm going to have another one. It will form an angle like this. And then I'm going to have another one. And the angle between those four lines, the angles between those four lines are all going to be the same. And you're going to use a formula to find the angle. It's actually a simple formula. It's going to be 360, which is everything, divided by the uh, number of teeth times 6. Why 6? I explained that on Friday. Just know that it's 360 divided by 6n. Okay. So if right here I have a gear with 52 teeth, okay. did I say 60 earlier? No, I want 52. Did I say 60 earlier? It doesn't matter. Okay, let, if I said 60 earlier, let's do 60 right here. Okay, so if I do 360 divided by 6 times 60, then that's going to be 360 divided by 360. Well, that's easy. That's going to be 1. So I'm going to have an angle equal to 1 degree between each one of them. Okay, so how do we do that? I'm going to click on dimension, click on this, click on this one. And I'm going to make sure that the angle right here is one degree. Okay. And then I'm going to repeat the process. The angle right here is going to be one degree. And then repeat the process right here. And the angle will be one degree. Okay. Now, those lines, I need all of them to be construction lines. So I'm going to click on this, click on construction. Come on, stop moving right here. We don't need this. I'm going to click on 
this to escape dimension and I'm going to delete that dimension. All right, delete this. All right. All right. So what I want again is I want to make this here a construction line. Oh, come on. Behave, thanks. I don't want to be in dimension. So I'm going to right click on like this escape dimension. All right. Now I can go back here. This is not highlighted anymore, so now that will work. Go, construction line, construction line, and construction line. Okay, so I have all my construction lines, and now I just need to zoom in right here. Okay, because now I'm going to draw three arcs. I'm going to draw one arc between this point right here and this point, and this arc should follow this right here. Then an arc between this point and this point right here. And then an arc between this point and this point. So let, let's do it between this one and this one. I'm going to zoom in. It doesn't have to be super precise. It doesn't matter that much. Okay. And then the next arc, I'm going to start it right here. And I'm going to go all the way down over here. And I want the gear to be approximately like this. Again, this is not a professional level quality, but for what we're doing, it's going to be fine. And then we're going to have this right here. Okay. So we have all of this. And um, I see one little problem right here. Those should be, are supposed to be full lines, not... Um, dotted lines. So I'm going to make them full lines like this. I don't want them to be construction lines. Okay. And same thing for this right here. I want it to be a full line. Okay. Now I'm going to remove um, this. So I'm just going to highlight this construction line and delete. Oops. Undo. I'm going to have this construction line right here and delete. There you go. I'm going to have this construction line and delete. And I'm going to leave that like this. So if you look at it from the center right here, you see that it looks like it's almost straight, but it's really a, a, a little curve. It's an arc. Okay. Now, the next step right here in the process is to use a mirror. So right here is the mirror. So I'm going to click on mirror, select a mirror line. That's this one and select the ent entity to be mirrored. So that's going to be this one, this one, and this one. Those three are going to be mirrored. I'm going to right click and go escape mirror. Okay. And then I'm going to do a circular pattern of this. So it's going to be circular pattern. Okay. And I'm going to have this, 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 and this, as part of my circular pattern. And by default, the circular pattern is going to replicate the, the geometry three times. So I'm going to click right here to accept that. But of course, I don't want three teeth. I wanted 60 teeth. So now that I'm out of there, I'm going to click on this and replace the three by 60. Okay, press enter. And it gives me 60 teeth, beautiful teeth like this. Uh, exactly the way I want. Then I'm going to add a little bit of a geometry for the hub, you know, for the, the borehole, like this. And I'm going to click on the check mark for sketch. Okay. So I have my geometry now. And there is only really one more step to do right here. It's a little bit of a, uh, an extrusion. I'm going to extrude this. Uh, I measure on my gear the thickness of the gear and it says seven millimeters when I measure. So I'll just click right here and I have my gear right there. Okay, so I, you can go around and check it out. And there you go. You have your gear. Done. I hope that this was clear. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to uh, pause and go back and watch this video as many times as you want. All right, you guys, good luck.